Hey lovely people, Queen here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I pray that you are doing well. Today we are going to be talking about leaning on God. Leaning on God when it's hard. Leaning on God when you're frustrated and tired. Leaning on God in difficult times. Leaning on God when it's difficult to even trust Him. Just leaning on God. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to define lean. What does it mean to lean? As you all know, I love definitions, so let's go to our dictionary. So, lean means to be in or to move in a sloping position. It means to slant or to be at an incline. So, when you think about it, when you're leaning, you are at an incline. And so, as you're leaning, you are in a vulnerable position. Let me explain. So for example, let's say this plant was a friend, right? And it's a friend's shoulder and I decide to lean on that friend, okay? Or it's a wall, okay? And I'm leaning on this friend. If this friend, and I have no support, it's just me leaning on my friend. If my friend moves quickly, I'm going to fall, right? I am going to be in a position of... I'm going to be in a very vulnerable position because I would fall or I have the potential to fall because there's no structure. There's nothing that is stable holding me up. So why does God tell us not to lean on our own understanding? Because if you're leaning on your own understanding, you are leaning on something that is unstable. Why? Because as human beings, our understanding is limited. We only know in part. We don't know the full picture of a lot of things. Have you ever, you know, you've done something and then you're like, whoa, I didn't even know this whole area was, you know, neglected, right? We as humans have blind spots. We don't see everything. We don't know everything. That's why God tells us to not lean on our own understanding. So that's why I'm saying today, rather than leaning on your understanding rather than leaning on your knowledge rather than leaning on what you believe is wisdom that is you know human wisdom rather than leaning on that i challenge you and myself today to lean on god so let's so let's go to the bible proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 this scripture i love it because it gives us pearls of wisdom that we should hold on to in this season hold on to it you are watching this video for a reason lean on the Lord it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him in all your ways acknowledge God and he shall direct your path Number one, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust, put your trust, your hope, your faith in the Lord with all your heart. Why? Out of your heart flows the issues of life. Out of your heart flows everything that you do. So it's important to trust in the Lord, to position yourself in God, to anchor yourself in the Lord. And then what else does it say? It goes further to say, lean not on your own understanding. As I illustrated, if you lean on your understanding, you as you're leaning, you are in a vulnerable position. And if your understanding is what you're leaning on, you're bound to fall because your understanding is limited as humans we only know in parts we can't know everything only god knows everything he's omniscient right he knows he's all-knowing god is omniscient he's all-knowing so rather than leaning on your understanding trust in the lord right and also it says in all your ways acknowledge him so in your decision making in your plans in your goal setting, acknowledge him. Say, God, what do you think about this? Should I to secure this position? Should I move forward in this area? 
acknowledge him the beautiful thing is god is always there he's omnipresent right he wants you to acknowledge him say god what should i do should i step here should i go here should i you know remove myself from this situation or should i move forward acknowledge god in every single area of your life in everything that you do and what will he do he shall direct your path he shall direct your path how much more wouldn't you want the maker of the universe the one that knows the end from the beginning the one that knows how something will end the one that knows how that business venture will end the one that knows how that marriage will end the one that knows how that admission and that schooling will end wouldn't you want him to be a part of directing you directing your path letting you know where to go right and what i love about scripture is that the word of the lord is a lamp unto our feet doing what giving us step by step direction guidance it's a light unto our path showing us what is ahead showing us where to go so it's important don't lean on your own understanding trust in the lord with all your heart acknowledge him in all that you do and he will direct your path you may be facing something that's very difficult you may not know what to do it may not make sense don't lean on your own understanding. Ask God today. Say, Lord, where do I go? I need your guidance. I need your clarity. Please direct me. Wait on the Lord. Seek the Lord. Wait on him. Wait for that answer. He will surely give it to you and direct your path. Right? So it's important to do that. God said in his word, Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Call on me and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. But you have to do your part. Call on him. Acknowledge him. Trust in him. And he will direct your path. Let us pray. Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you so much for your son and daughter who is listening to my voice right now. I thank you for their lives. I thank you, Lord for all you've done for them up until this point. I thank you, Lord, for sustaining them. I thank you, Jesus. To you be all the glory and honor. Father, Lord, your child, your son, your daughter, they're going through some difficult times. They're not sure of what to do, where to go. They need clarity. Father, Lord, give them the grace to acknowledge you, to trust you, to not lean on their own understanding so that you can direct their path. Let them release this situation to you. Let them cast it onto you in the name of Jesus. And God, please give them peace at this time. A lot of them are unsettled. They feel restless. God, please give them peace in the name of Jesus. Peace like a river. Peace beyond their understanding in the name of Jesus. And God, I just plead the blood of Jesus over this situation. Whatever they're facing, whatever area of life that they are disgruntled, they're not sure of what to do. God, please give them clarity. Please, Lord, give them clarity in the name of Jesus. Help them, guide them, protect them. And every evil, Father Lord, take it away in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against them shall prosper in the name of Jesus. As the enemy comes in one way, they shall flee seven ways in Jesus' name. Father Lord, we glorify your name. Holy Spirit, thank you. Be their guide. Intercede for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I plead the blood of Jesus over these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. I pray that you are blessed by this video. And if you were, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you like more videos just like this, also share it. Share it with a friend. And also don't forget to come back and testify. I'd love to hear from you.
Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to join the family. And until next time, God's blessings always. Take care.